This TronSmart Bluetooth speaker costs $50, and this JBL speaker costs $150, but is this $100 better? So Tronsmart, the makers of this speaker, reached out to me and wanted to send me this to review and I thought this would be a good opportunity to compare a budget speaker such as this to a more expensive name brand speaker such as the JBL Charge 3 which I have here. So this is the Tronsmart Mega, it's a 40 watt Bluetooth speaker and I have to say it's surprised me. So at $50, you can't really expect this to be the most amazing sounding thing in the world, and we'll get to the sound quality portion of this in a little bit. But as far as the design of the speaker, I think they've done a very good job. The speaker grill is black painted metal with the logo embossed on the front. The top and bottom of the speaker are a soft touch rubberized texture that looks pretty decent. So the controls on the top are also LED backlit, so when you turn on the device you'll get this very nice appealing light show. I really like this feature and not only does it help for using this device in the dark, but it just looks pretty cool. So in addition to being LED backlit, the top of the Mega is a touch control, so there aren't physical buttons, they respond to your touch and this works very well for everything except for the volume slider because it's not precise enough to be making fine adjustments so realistically uh, it makes more sense to just adjust the volume on your phone. Additionally you can also just tap the plus and minus icons if the slider is too irritating. The device charges with a micro USB and it can also read music from an SD card slot. Apart from that it also has a mic jack if you want to connect this manually through an audio cable. The device feels like it's well put together, it doesn't creak or rattle when you're shaking it around, and it certainly feels like it's durable. So the JBL Charge 3 is similarly well built. Both of these devices feel very solid and stable and they have a good weight to them. So as far as the sound quality, I do think the JBL sounds better, but the TronSmart isn't a bad sounding device. So this speaker has one major issue and it's kind of the opposite of most of the issues that I find with inexpensive Bluetooth speakers. So for the most part, once you get below $50, I've noticed that Bluetooth speakers are often lacking in bass. So oftentimes they sound kind of tinny because you hear a lot of treble but it's not balanced out with enough bass. The TronSmart Mega suffers from the opposite problem. So underneath the TronSmart logo on the front of the speaker is the rather large woofer that this device uses. And I have to say, this is pretty good. For the size and price of this speaker, it delivers pretty punchy bass. However, I have noticed that the treble just, it doesn't quite sound right. It just sounds a little bit muddled, a little muffled if you will, and it just doesn't quite match the treble output of the JBL Charge 3. Now with that said, the JBL Charge 3 is a very bassy speaker, so on either end of this device are the rather large subwoofers, and to be perfectly honest, this speaker is above average in terms of bass output, so it does pull ahead of the Transmart there, but where it really shines is in the clarity in higher tones. So. Now let's do an audio test, and keep in mind it's not going to sound perfect because I'm recording here with my blue snowball, so we're not going to be able to communicate perfectly how these sound in person, but we should be able to get some idea of the differences in sound between these two devices. So there you have it, as you can tell, the JBL is certainly a better speaker. And it should be, it costs three times as much as the Tronsmart. 
But that doesn't mean that the Tron Smart is bad. In fact, I think that for 50 bucks, this little fella does a pretty good job. It especially exceeds many other inexpensive speakers in having pretty decent bass. However, it is held back by its lack of treble. In fact, when the speaker is turned up quite loud, it becomes very hard to hear. So while this speaker is capable of getting pretty loud, I don't recommend it because it starts to sound kind of bad once you get to about 70% volume on a smartphone. So the Tron Smart overall, I'd say it's pretty decent. It's nothing completely outstanding, but as a budget alternative to nicer speakers like the JBL Charge 3 or uh, certain Beats Bluetooth speakers or the Ultimate Ears speakers, I think this does a pretty decent job. So that'll do it for today's video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani, and as usual, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, join my subreddit, and I will see you guys in the next video.